hi all so today in this video what we are going to see he here is so recently Appian has upgraded to you can say 23.1 version okay so uh, in the documentation a lot of things have changed some things have improved okay some new terms has also came but what uh, uh, okay so what we are going to see today is few functions that we use that we uh, use on daily basis okay uh, they have been deprecated so it is very important to note that like what functions if we are planning to use these functions in our current projects or anywhere so be careful about it because these are currently deprecated as of now okay so we'll see like which are those functions uh, so first of all you can see here this is this is a few things had have been deprecated first of all this uh, support for maria db jdbc driver some aurora mysql data sources is there so that is uh, that support is not there and then uh, the minimum uh, required android os that is android 8.0 or higher i don't think this will cause any difference at all because all androids are more than that only mostly okay and then two important functions very important functions are there currency functions and calendar add functions so these two functions are deprecated as well okay and then you can see some support for uh, uh, encryption configuration for VPN integration so this is also updated and deprecated yeah fine we what we will more focus on the currency functions and the calendar add functions so see uh, initially what happened was that this is this is my current version of appian only so if you see here if i go to about appian in this community currently the community additions are not updated to 23.1 so we can't use all the features of 23.1 as of now so 22.4 it is but here if you see here it is written that the following functions are deprecated and will be removed in future releases so if in case like you are planning to use this uh, functions or if you are already using it make sure to update this function like dollar is there euro pound yen is there so we used to uh, use a lot for example dollar so if we put dollar of thousand so it will give us the result as one thousand dollar so instead of that a new function called currency function is introduced so this is the a bank currency function let's see like will it will this work or not a bank currency so currently you can see here I am not able uh, this all parameters of currency is not coming uh, once the community will update then it will come fine but initially as well there was one currency available so without a bank one currency was available so that currency is also like different only so let me just use see here this currency is itself different so now you can see your version 22 r4 something like this it is written so even this is an old version of currency okay so the, this currency has been improved with this currency and now it will cater to all the different currencies as well euro pound and yen as well fine so this was about the currency function currently i can't show you that currency one uh, because once the community updates then we can clearly see that other important is here is calendar add functions okay so the following functions related to date and time these are very important functions for example cal add days okay so let's uh, uh, try to see like uh, how they are used for example local bank add days something like this i have taken and let me just call cal okay cal add days so what this function it used to do is that it returns a date time okay give a given number of network days after the start date time suppose the start date time is nothing as today today we are starting our work and after seven days we will complete our work some something like this okay once i have defined my local variable let me try to call it like how this was initially used if i test it so you see here we will get a date of something like 20 march but if my current date and time you can see here it is 9 so 9 plus 7 right it is 16 only but it is giving me 20 because see here saturday and sunday are holiday so two more days got extended there okay 
so that is why and again 7 18 and 19 is again holiday so uh, okay so that also got extended so it only used to give me add days like how many it will only add the day the working days it will add something like this it used to work similarly the cal add hours as well it used to work similarly but now they are saying like instead of these two functions use a bank add date time function okay so let's try to use a bank add date time as well let's see like how this function will use a local bank add date time something like this i have made it okay a bank add date oh great this function is actually available uh, to use in this uh, 22.4 as well great so see these are the current number of parameters which are available in add date time for example start date time is there years how many year you want to add how many months you want to add how many days hours minutes all these things which you want to add you can add it here so let's see whatever we added there we want to add this only let's give our process parameter name add start date time let's keep it today only that's fine and uh, days so days will keep it to seven only seven working days and let's try to call this function as well so what we will do here is this function as well we will call it and local bank add date time we will take let's see how does this behave strange so what it does is that you can see first a local bank is giving me the result so let me give a uh, something as key value okay so here old okay cal add days so i made a key like this okay and add date time so that we can clearly see like what is happening let me test it once again see now this key is there and this value is there fine kind of dictionary it is side it is a dictionary now so cal add days is giving me what it is giving me 20 a uh, march but add date time is giving me 16 only it means that it is not adding that four days which are holiday for me saturday and sunday is there then again uh, saturday and sunday is there so these are the two things that it is not adding so what to do now in this case so in this process i have read somewhere they are using kind of process calendar see use process calendar so one more parameter they have used something as use process calendar that is a boolean so if you use process calendar then if you add the seven days to the start date time then this result will change and see here now both the date and time are the same so if you use process calendar now see this is a completely a new term for us as well like what is process calendar where the, where we can see process calendar like how it is configured what is done there okay so if you want to use the process calendar so first of all what you have to do here is go to your designer okay so let's open the designer go to the objects so once you have went to the object just click here in this uh, uh, setting option okay and then you can see your process calendar so now your process calendar will open so currently you can see here I have set my process calendar to Indian standard time okay so this is the default calendar only one calendar is available if any other calendar is there so you can write or create a calendar fine and see here this is the time okay and you can say like any standard time you you have to set your calendar so that you have set it so i have found somewhere 5 30 is here right indian standard time i have set so something like this so zero or green which mean time as well anything can be set from here one more thing can be set here is which are the working days and which are the non-working days that as well you can make a change here for example currently my expression is returning what i am adding seven days okay today is ninth so this 11 12 is getting excluded 17 18 is getting excluded but what i will do here is i will make them i will make them as working days so let me make them as uh, not mark okay this one as well non-working and this okay let's leave it till here only 
let me save the changes once i have said now 11 12 is my working day let's see how our expression will change so initially it has given something as 20 march okay if we add it 7 it should be 2 less and now you can see here 16 only is coming great so this is how you can change the process calendar as well and the required results will be there so after seven days from there so seven days is what one two three four five six seven so 16 only will come great but if we mark again as let me mark it again as non-working otherwise uh, it uh, might uh, affect my result okay fine okay let's not disturb this so this is all set up to uh -huh. now it is you can see here is again 20 march is coming so this is how the initial cal add days and similarly add hours function was also used but if you are planning to use that make sure to uh, use or replace the existing one with the add date time because their support will get uh, deprecated from now or okay alternatives are described so these alternatives you have to use it so that's all for now okay thank you all